Hello, my name is Lisa, and for the last year, I desperately tried to hold our family together until I realised I wouldn't succeed. One of my earliest childhood memories is how my parents and I went to a playground. Nothing special happened, but for some reason, I can't forget joyful smiles of my parents, a moment of pure happiness for all three of us. And this memory makes what happened to us even worse. Long story short, one day, after 17 years of marriage, my father brought us together and through tears told us that he leaves my mother for another woman. And, well, how can you react to such news? You think that everything is fine and your parents love each other and do your own stuff and then this happens. I asked my father why, but the answer was quite obvious. He just fell in love with another woman. And then he, well left. It was just my crying mum and me. Our house seemed so empty and lifeless without him, and we both missed him. I imagined what I would feel if my future husband would leave me like that after two decades of marriage. It's really hard to imagine what to do next. After some time, Dad contacted me, and we met in a cafe. I thought he wanted to return. Maybe he realised his mistakes and it all was just a misunderstanding. I was wrong, of course. He just wanted to say that he still loves me and him leaving doesn't change things between us. I begged him to reconsider and return to mum, to think about it, to remember all the times we had together. He just smiled and said, it's not that simple. Then he said that mum is a strong woman and she will recover and that I need to support her. But what about him? Isn't it his responsibility to support her, even if he's not in love with her? He also told me that he wants me and his girlfriend to meet at some point because she is a good person and I would like her. He took my hand into his and I just silently nodded. Maybe he was right. I didn't want to lose my dad. I still loved him. It was hard to come home that day. My mum was a shadow of herself, not even bothering to brush her hair in the morning. It was hard seeing a person who you looked up to your whole life like that. I felt like I hated her for being weak. At one point, I just snapped and told my mum that it was her fault that dad left. My mum burst into tears more than before, and I felt horrible for saying that, and I apologised at least ten times in the next half an hour. My mum then started to tell everything about their relationship, how it became worse every year, and how she knew that this would probably happen eventually. She told me that she hates Dad and doesn't want to forgive him, but I couldn't make myself agree with her, because I couldn't hate Dad. Next several months, I tried to meet with Dad often, but each time it was a little bit longer. First one week, then two, then three. At some point, he called me by the name of his girlfriend's daughter and didn't even notice. At this moment, I realised what a big mistake I was making this whole time. Instead of supporting Mum, I desperately tried to win my father's affection. He asked again if I'm ready to meet with his girlfriend, and you know what? I said no, because I didn't want to meet her, ever. And while I wanted to have a good relationship with Dad, it wasn't him who was suffering most through it, because at least he had a new girlfriend, while there was just me and Mum in our house. Next weeks, I spent more time with my mum, trying to support her and take her mind off dad. We became much closer, and mum told me such things about herself that I never expected to hear, like about how wild and crazy she was when she was young. I finally found the courage to say to dad that I didn't want to meet his new girlfriend, ever. Yes, he still was family, but he wasn't part of this family anymore. I'm still very conflicted about this whole situation, but I'm glad to say that my mum looks and feels better nowadays. Last week, she said that I should stop thinking about it so much because I have to live my life. I have to study, have fun with my friends, maybe meet a guy, and not babysit her or dad because they're adults and they'll manage. It's important for me not to lose myself in all of this. I think she was right. I hope mum will get better and I will manage to have a good relationship with my dad. But I also have to live my life and solve my problems, still supporting mum, of course. Please tell your stories in the comments, 
and share the video if you have experienced the same confusion as I did.